Within the world of electroculture, we often speak of paramagnetic minerals or paramagnetism when it comes to building soils with high capacitance. Um, paramagnetism is the inclination of a substance toward a magnetic field. It's inclination toward magnetic pull, a positive action toward a magnetic field. Uh, diamagnetism is its converse. So we get down to uh, paramagnetic minerals. We know they're produced through volcanic actions, through the processes of volcanoes. Um, we can look at this also in traditional Chinese medicine, in alchemy, where, bi like in biochar, for instance, where a wood, the wood element, is put through the fire element, and we get the end result, which is not a metal, but it has the energetic value of a paramagnetic metal. And that's why biochar is a benevolent um, addition to soils is because of his paramagnetism. So we can look at a magnet here. I have a bowl of paramagnetic basalt and we can see how when this clean magnet interacts with this basalt, it picks it right up. Hopefully that's visible. We can see that the magnet strongly attracts, or we can look at it as the paramagnetic material is strongly attracted toward the magnet, just as a visual example. So that's basalt. Granite is another paramagnetic mineral. And there's other minerals of various types that are also considered paramagnetic. Most gases are diamagnetic, but oxygen is paramagnetic. And that's why it moves towards the Earth's magnetic field, toward our heart's magnetic field. Um, Phil Callahan is the godfather of this information of paramagnetism basically, uh, at least in recent times. And uh, he studied the round towers of Ireland, um, specifically Ireland. And you know, through his research, he knew that there was a paramagnetic value they were bringing to the fields they were built in. Um, basically discerned that they are high, high elevation ELF radio antennas, um, paramagnetic amplifiers basically, and they're built higher to, to gather and harness more of that paramagnetic energy, which is the solar yang positive component in the electroculture systems. So the higher the paramagnetic minerals are, the better job they will do to uh, harness those cations, those paramagnetic values and energies from the solar winds. So we use basalt. Basalt is pretty much the highest in paramagnetic value that we know about. Uh, basalt's of different qualities from different places. Ours is from Vermont. Um, our, our core filling in all, all of our antennas, all four models, is this high paramagnetic value basalt. Basalt is also, uh, in, in its raw form, a very uh, a mineral with high capacitance. So when it's packed into a device like this, it becomes sort of a basalt battery. Um, and I just wanted to, to drive that home that all, the, all of our antenna models are core filled with very paramagnetic basalt, which makes them like basalt towers. And the higher they're mounted, just like the uh, atmospheric addition to the antennas, the more you will harness.